Do you ever find yourself doing things that you know you shouldn't do, but it's like you're just in a rut and you keep doing things over and over the wrong things that get you in trouble. You know you shouldn't do it and yet you do that again. Whether it's as simple as taking that donut when you know you're working to lose weight or just reacting to someone in a certain way that sets them off, which sets you off and just gets you into a spiral or something else, right? Why is it that happens? Well, what I want to show you today is exactly why that happens, but much more importantly, how you can break out of that rut. Because the trouble with being in a rut is sometimes you start mistaking the edge of the ditch for the horizon. Think about when a baby is learning to walk. What happens? It does it over and over again. First it learns how to balance and hang on to something. Then it slowly learns to stand on its own and it keeps falling, does it over and over. And then you know, it may take a step and it falls, but it's learning that balance and learning it and does it over and over and over again. What happens each of those times is in your brain, in the baby's brain, there's hundreds of thousands of neurons that are firing and as it does the same thing over and over again those neurons keep firing keep triggering the same ones over and over again so that after a while all those tiny little elements of balance of of you know being a, knowing how to step how far to step and all of those elements it doesn't even have to think about it just does because it's it's become a well-worn groove. So in a way, it's like driving down a country road, an old country road. Think about it. That's got those ruts in there that's been worn down from the rains and, and driving through during the rain and such. And even in dry weather, if you're in those ruts, it can be really hard to pull out because your car is being, the tires are being kept in there and it takes a lot of effort, a lot of struggle to be able to pull yourself, a lot of energy to pull yourself out of that rut. And then if you ever come close to it, boom, it slams you right back in again. And that's exactly what happens with these neural pathways that form. And that's what happens when you get into these bad habits when you start doing these things that you know aren't right it's but you do it with that without even thinking and even if you're thinking i shouldn't do this ah, and then you do it. what you're doing is you're just coming close enough boom and you're getting slammed back into that rut and so your conscious mind is irrelevant it's just a pattern that your uh, brain has developed this is how you you are behaving this is how you're acting now that's the bad news the good news is that you can change it there's a wonderful thing called neuroplasticity and what that is is your ability to create new pathways i mean this is most clear in people that have had um, brain damage they lose the parts of their brain that perform certain functions and then other parts of their brain start to build pa those patterns and they build those abilities using other parts of the brain. What neuroplasticity is, you, your ability to create new patterns. So even if you've got that rut, you can always start to build a new pathway, a new rut, if you will, but one that's healthier. And the more you go on that, and the more you avoid the old one, the old one will start to wear down and to wear away. So after a while, it won't have any pull at all. So this takes, when you're doing it, it does take a lot of work. It takes a lot of discipline to realize, okay, boom, I'm back into that rut. I am choosing to move differently, to do something differently, to behave differently. And it will take a lot of effort at first and then a bit less and a bit less. And after a while, you won't even notice that rut, that old one because it's gone. You've built a new healthy pathway. So if you're really serious about creating change in your behaviors, in your interactions, in how you respond, 
uh, that you absolutely can do it, but you've got to decide it's important enough and you've got to exert the discipline to pull yourself out of that rut those first little few times, those first several times until it becomes habit and you build those new neural pathways that take you where you really want to go.